Oh, I didn't even read that. That's new. So, I'd like to ask you about this person. Hmm, something tells me. Hmm, yes. Um, no, nothing. There's no need to bring this person in for exam. Wouldn't, wouldn't do it anyway. Hmm. Even as a pretend doctor, he gets an F for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, presenting any doesn't do anything. Is there nothing? I just... Attorney's badge. What's this? I'm a lawyer. Right now, I'm investigating a murder. <laughs> yes. What is with your angry face? Violence isn't the answer. <laughs> yes. I think that is the answer. Tri not, not, not violence. <laughs> I meant presenting the attorney's badge is right, I think. The trial is tomorrow, and I'd really like some information from you. <laughs> is that right? Well, you know, I think I can let you in on a little secret. What's that? Yes, actually, I'm not the real director. Are you kidding? Anyone with half a fly's brain knew that. Huh? What do you, what do you mean? Do I have to explain this to him? Well, um, hold on. I'll give you something. Real information, okay? Huh? I'm actually, this clinic's... See, I'm like this place is... Walking Dictionopedia. You mean walking encyclopedia? Yeah, that. And my specialty is young, silky smooth, hottie patients. Ugh. There's nothing I don't know about them, but I get embarrassed talking about it. That's... nasty and... so wrong. Yeah, how about you keep that kind of information to yourself? Oh, oh. Anyway, you wanna know about Miss Any Mini, right? Miss... Any Mini? That girl. Ah, I remember her especially well. Really. Especially very well. Alright, well, we got information. We're gonna get information. Please tell me what you know about Any Mini. Mm, yes, I'll get to that. Trust me, I will. That girl, that's right. She was transferred from the General Hospital. This was... Yes, a year ago. She was one of those emergency cases. What was she ill with? Ill? Nah, nah, nah. She was injured, not ill. With my trained eye, I could see. Yep, I could see it was a huge wound at that. Who in huge injury? Her whole body was wrapped round and around in bandages, and her arm was in a, a cast. That sounds pretty severe, all right. Yes, it was an accident. An accident. They're scary, yes? Cars. Mm, yes. Oh. Car? You mean it was a traffic accident? Yep. That's what gave her the terrible injuries. I swore it was in the papers. Hmm. Yes. L looked it all up, I did. It was terrible. Hmm. Yes. I just realized my mic wasn't very close to my mouth, so hopefully it wasn't too quiet there. Dare I even ask what is wrong with this old guy? <laughs> just now, you mentioned something about a big operation? Are you talking about Miss Innie's operation? Yes, Miss Innie's. That. Ah, that was one heck of an accident. Mm, yes. Her whole face was burned like bad toast. It was bad. Very bad. Was it really that bad? It was a good thing that Miss Innie had a picture of herself. I heard the picture was how they put her face back together. Mm. Picture? Whew. That girl. See, she had a... She just got her license. So she just happened to have a license photo on her. Mm, yes. Oh. So see, they got her picture as a way to remember her. Yes, well, more like swiped. Um, breach of ethics? No, wait. What, what? Pretty girl like her? I bet she has lots of pictures of herself. Um, sure. It's a treasure. My treasure. Precious. What happened to the actual license itself? Who knows? I didn't bother to ask. Probably got burned up along with the car. Mm, yes. License photo. Added to the court record. Well, nope. there you go. Got something. Um, so you looked up information on any accident, correct? Yep, yep, sure did. Mm, yes, read every paper that covered it at the time. What kind of accident was it, do you remember? Mm, yes, hold on, I'll go get it for you. The article, I mean. Uh-huh, you have it? Well, we have... Uh, well, 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 don't get me wrong. I thought something like this might come up, so... Obsessive to the max. But I bet I could learn about how to stay on a lead from this guy. Ah, here we go, here we go. Yes. According to this, Miss Innie was in the passenger seat. Passenger seat, huh? And dozing, or so it says. A strong jolt woke her up. The next minute, a sea of fire was all around her. 
I said he fought with the door, finally got it to open, and somehow managed to get away. Anywho, anywho, you could all about those details in this article. Yes. Newspaper clipping 2. Well, basically it replaces the old one. The old newspaper clipping we had. A new clue. I probably should look this over. It's half a year since Miss Innie had her surgery and got better. She was discharged some sometime in December last year. It's already been half a year, huh? Yes. So, how was I? I was a real help, wasn't I? Yes. Yes. You Thank you very much. Yes. Well, then. I'll be getting back to my room, then. Tell Miss Innie I said hi, okay? Yes. <laughs> I love that guy. I know I said that like a billion times, but it's time for me to get time to be a leaf too. Yes. Back. Okay. It's definitely time to leave. All right. So we got some information now. There's only one thing left we can do. Or. Okay. Hey. So how was it? Did you go to the clinic? Sorry, that was really loud. Yeah, I found out a few things. I guess. What's the matter? You ain't looking so well. Ah, uh, yeah, so earlier, that old granny called the cops. Huh? The cops? Why would Morgan call the police? She just had something to tell him. Things are gonna sure get interesting. So, Morgan's gonna be a witness, huh? How we had to talk to Flotta afterwards. Ah, but honestly, I tell you, that granny sure got our bloomers in a knot. Well, I guess you could put it that way. It always starts out some... It always starts out small, you know? Stealing the master's seat and controlling the village folk. And now you see what it's turned into? A murder! That's what! Yeah, what a mess. Hey, hold on! What? That stuff you were just talking about. That's the first I've heard of it. Huh, really? Well, it's all news to everyone else in the world. Well, excuse me for not keeping up with gossip while I'm busy saving people. You said something about stealing the master's seat? Yup. Right now. The master's is medium named Misty Faye, but... The one that was really supposed to be the master was that old granny. Morgan was supposed to become the master? That's news. To Phoenix. Do you know where Innie is, Lotta? Yeah, I saw her not too long ago. She's hanging around in that garden in the middle. Okay, thanks. You got something to ask her? Yeah. I've got a whole list of things only she can clear up for me. So I hear the master has always been the oldest daughter. The oldest daughter? Turns out that old bat is Misty Faye's older sister. Uh oh. They say the older sister is usually the one with more spiritual power. Come to think of it, Maya said the same thing a long time ago. She warned me not to take me his powers lightly. Well, anyway, somehow Granny there lost her younger sister, Misty. I see. This made the townsfolk turn against her, so I hear. Said all sort of things too, like... She's the oldest, and yet she doesn't have the power to be the next master. Disgraceful! Wow, I had no idea. So, what would have happened had Morgan been stronger? Miles' family would have been the Branch family, I reckon. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyways. It's time. To go break any minis, psych locks. She's still in the winding way. So, it's time to actually break them. Hey, like, I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. I think I have enough to finally unlock her secret. Like, what's with that scary look on your face? Alright, so, time to unlock her psych locks. Take that! Take it good. Traffic accident. Please tell me about the traffic accident. Huh? Like, whose accident? Your sister's accident, naturally. Oh, um, oh, yeah. So, like, that Dr. Gray guy made my sister fall asleep. And, like, that's all I have to say about that. Hmm. Interesting. You just asked whose accident, which means she must know something about another person's accident. All right, let's change the topic then. How about you tell me about a certain other person's accident? Huh? Another person's accident? Like, you got someone in mind? How about yours? Take that! Take that. I want to ask you about your own car accident. Me? Yes. 
So, wow, like, how strange. I have, like, no idea what you're talking about. Can you, like, prove I was in, like, an accident? We sure can. We got that article. Now we can check it, too. Late last night, two women's car crashed. Two women's car, yeah, crashed into a highway center divide. One of the women was not able to escape the flaming wreckage and died at the site. Ongoing investigation has revealed that the other driver, that the driver had fallen asleep at the wheel. I was like, <laughs> I was like really tired and dropped off to sleep. Then there was this crash and like I woke up in a huge sea of flames. I was like still half asleep but I opened the right door and like got out. I don't like remember anything else. Miss Minnie is to be believed. The one driving the car was her sister, Mimi Minnie. Mimi Minnie was the nurse at Grace Surgical Clinic where 14 patients were accidentally overdosed to their death. Is this then just a mere coincidence? Yeah. Take that. Sorry, I just felt like reading that. Will you take a look at this? It's a newspaper article from one year ago. It says, Miss Any Minnie holds interview about crash. Ah! You suffered a very bad injury and had to be admitted to a hospital, correct? Like, wait. What now? That's not me. Huh? I mean, like, this person has, like, the same name, but she's totally not me. My name, Any Minnie, is, like, pretty common. What in the world are you babbling about? Your sister's name, Mimi Minnie, is in here too! Like, totally, wow. What a scary coincidence. I'm totally getting, like, goosebumps. You think I'm going to let you get away with that? So, like, now what? Like, do you have something that totally says I was hospitalized? Yeah, we have your license photo. Take that! Take that is your proof like what's that picture supposed to mean I got this from the hospital where you were hospitalized at huh so there was a certain patient there he was quite a fan as a memento of your stay he stole this I have to say this photo looks like you that creepy fake director now are you ready to tell me about the accident like wait a sec okay so like I was in an accident sure but that's, like, totally not related to this murder. Actually, it is. Look at this article. It says that one of the women died, correct? A and that woman who died, who do you suppose that they mean? Uh, do you suppose the woman who died in that accident could be... Um... Sorry, I'm thinking about this because, I mean, it, I, I just want to say it's Mimi Mini, but... Take that! Take that! Yeah, that's right. I believe it was your sister, Mimi Mini. Mimi! You were riding in your sister's car while she drove. The two of you were together when your accident occurred, making it one and the same. And there's the last Cyclock, broken. Unlock successful. Back to full penalty bar. Alright. Now we can actually talk about the traffic accident. Yeah, I was riding. Riding in that car with my sister. We were, like, on our way home. I was riding in the passenger seat while I fell asleep. And then, it happened. Is that supposed to be like... Who's this supposed to be? I'm not sure who this is supposed to be. Cause they're pretty far away from the car. At the time, I grabbed for my purse and escaped from the passenger side door. And your sister? I like, couldn't do anything. The car was full of smoke. I couldn't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if it was she was supposed to be, like, sad when she says that, but I just assumed she was. 
Did Dr. Gray really cause that accident by drugging your sister with sleeping pills? Like, he was totally out to get my sister. He totally did that to, like, pay my sister back. Hmm, I wonder. This does give any a good reason to want to murder Dr. Gray. Ha ha ha. It seems simple, doesn't it? What do you mean? But, it would be very hard to catch me. Actually, I'd say impossible. What? I think you get the picture. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Whoa. What does that mean? It means she's going to be a witness tomorrow. Would you take a look at this? Uh, alright, so... I thought that was the last thing we needed to do. Did I miss something with Lada? Have I missed something? Oh man. I hope I didn't miss anything. Ah! Oh, I haven't missed anything. Good. Looks like something's up. Stop! Stop! Leave my mother leave my mother alone! Ow! Hey, hold on, okay, pal? I'm not gonna hurt. Pearl, dear, it is perfectly alright. I will be out for a short while with this young man. Mother, please, let me go too! No, you must stay here and protect the manor. But... Oh, don't make that face. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll show you something cool. Here, look. It's a real pistol. Detective! Do not upset me further! Ah, sorry. Poor Gumshoe, being dragged off by the ear like that by Morgan. Ow. Mother! Oh man, they took Morgan away. She's going to be testifying tomorrow, I believe. Or not, t well, in, in game tomorrow. Mother! This has never happened before. Pearls? Mr. Nick! I have a really bad feeling that I can't shake. I think something really bad is going to happen. I'm scared. I'm really scared, Mr. Nick. Say something, right? Anything. <sighs> I'm terrible at this. Damn it, Phoenix. Mr. Nick, what about what about Mystic Maya? She'll be all right. I think I've gathered enough evidence. Mystic Maya, she must feel all alone. Please, Mr. Nick, go visit her. Yeah, but I can't just leave you here all alone, either. I'll be fine. Please, Mystic Maya needs you by her side. Her stare is really piercing. Ugh. Alright, well. Nothing we can do to talk to... Nothing else we can do the per... Nothing else we can't present the pearls or anything. So, let's go to the detention center. I believe this is our last stop of the investigation. You kept me waiting, Phoenix. Mia! So, how are the preparations? I think I have enough evidence and information now. I think. Everything will be on your shoulders tomorrow. Whether Maya is found guilty or innocent, it's a heavy burden to bear. Hmm. Memory serves. She had a few cyclops of her own. Oh, right! I forgot about those. Mia, I'm going to get the last piece of information I need. Sure, I welcome you to try. Aha! There we go. Mia. Yes? Mia, you know something, don't you? About the real murder, I mean. There you is. Yep. She knows something. Three Cyclops. Why do you think so? It's really trying at times to be able to see other people's secrets. It looks like it's time for you to explain your reasoning. Yeah. Battle of Wits against Mia. Why the gulp, Phoenix? There's still a whole slew of questions for you to answer before the trial tomorrow. You mean like, how did the real murderer get into the room and kill Dr. Gray? Yes. Also, when did the murderer enter the channeling chamber? You guys were all standing around in front of the room after the channeling started. 
damage, which means that the murderer must have gotten into the room before the channeling. That's what I think, in any case. But Maya's already said there isn't anyone else in there. That's true. But if we can't figure out the murderer's movements, we're stuck like a beached whale. That's an interesting simile there. Hmm. I thought I'd never see this day. Are you actually asking me about spirit channeling? This case is all about spirit channeling. And I feel like I don't understand a thing about it. Well, that's only natural. After all, spirit channeling isn't exactly an everyday thing, is it? Yeah, I guess you're right. The power to change your physical appearance into the person you're calling. Well, something our ancestor, Mr. Gamey Fay, acquired. I've heard that name before. The Fay family was originally a family known for its service to the gods. When Mr. Gamey was born, she was given a certain fate through her name. Because, you see, she was named after one of the bu Buddhas of Buddhism. Ami Amitabha. Amitabha? Amitabha. So it might be Ami, not Amy. Amy Tava. To this day, her soul, her soul is still sealed in the Korean sacred urn. It usually sits in the winding way and has her name written on it. Um, yeah. Oh, come on, Phoenix. It's just a fairy tale. Are you saying that me being able to see you is just a fairy tale, too? Yep. Anyways, it's time to get the truth out of Mia. Take that! Take that! Kind of interesting how we have to, uh, we have Cyclox on our own mentor here. Phoenix, you think I'm hiding some information about someone from you, isn't that right? Yes. Alright then, tell me who you think I'm protecting. Uh... Maybe... Morgan? Take that! Morgan Fay, of course. There's no one else you would protect like this, Mia. Really? Well done, but... While the murder was being committed, my aunt was outside with everyone else. Which means she already has an alibi. That's true. Show me some evidence that would cast suspicion onto my aunt. Um... What would cast suspicion onto her? Um... I think it was either the key, which is found in the incinerator. Um, or is cloth scrap. This is bothering me. I don't really want to lose, like, penalty stuff just from from a cycloc thing even though it's not that much but still it's not the key is it let's see it's found in the incinerator along with the cloth scrap well no not along with the cloth scrap take that, take that. I was right yay my evidence is this black key. At the beginning of the channeling, Maya had possession of this key. And yet, somehow, it magically ended up in the incinerator in the center garden. You're right. There's only one person who could have done that while I was busy calling the police. The person taking care of Maya, Morgan. What's that look mean? Your argument is too flimsy. Huh? When did the key find its way into the incinerator? Could have happened long after the murder happened. Long after? Someone could have found the key somewhere and dumped it into the incinerator. But that's... The prosecutor would use something less small to shred your case. Do you have something other than this to key to cast suspicion on Morgan? Uh, we... This? Take that! Yay! This is the other piece of evidence that points to Morgan as the culprit. I also found this in the garden incinerator. It's the same material as Maya's costume, except for the splotch of blood. But this piece may not even be from Maya's costume. But this is what Maya told me. 
while I was channeling, the key was sitting inside my sleeve. And both the key and this piece of cloth were found inside the incinerator. Which means that this piece of cloth was part of Maya's costume. But when Maya was arrested, she was wearing her costume. That just means someone changed her clothes. Changed her clothes? But why? I don't know why. But there's only one person who could have done that. The one person who was taking care of Maya. My aunt. You did very well, Phoenix. Thank you. As long as you have those two pieces of evidence, you can cast suspicion on my aunt. However... However? Like I said in the beginning, my aunt has an alibi. Yeah, she was with us the whole time. Here's my final question. You don't have to present solid proof of this for me. But I want you to know, I want to know, if my aunt is the culprit, then how did she commit the murder? How she did it, huh? I want to hear your thoughts. In order for my aunt to murder Dr. Gray, who or what did she need? Who or what did she need? Who or what? Um, she needs... She needs... Not the clothing box. I'm thinking it might be any mini. Um. Take that! Take that! Yay, I was right again! Any mini. She's the answer to the final question. Which means that my aunt and any mini were in cahoots! There you go. The truth is finally coming out. Something's been bothering me all this time. This crime is something... Sorry. This crime is something no normal person could carry out. The person would have to know a lot about Fey Manor and the village itself to do this. Morgan already has an alibi. Yes, which is why I can't figure out how it was done. We can assume that any mini is involved somehow. But we have one big problem on our hands. A problem? With what? We don't have a motive. Why would Morgan want to kill Dr. Gray? Why would she have to? Also, we don't really know for sure that if she was cooperating with any. Me doesn't have a clue either, huh? Hmm. Then, there is only one possibility. Huh? Think about it, Phoenix. Why would my aunt do something like this? And why would she do it in such an underhanded fashion? Um, because... Mother, she is the one that holds the key to this. Mother? Whose? Mine? Don't be silly. Mine, of course. Misty Fay. Me and Maya's mother? Why would she bring her up now? Now then. Looks like we've gathered everything we could. All we have to do is win tomorrow. Everything will become apparent then. Right, Chief. We won't lose. Yeah, alright, so, the investigation is over, guys. It is time to move on to the trial. And this will be the last trial of this case. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like rating, a comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys till we take on the final trial of this case. It's been I, Smiley's Eye, and I do hope you... I'm just gonna... You know what? Bye, guys. <laughs> Peace out. Have a great day.